There are three major problems when you're talking about townhouse design. The first is the lack of ventilation. The second is lack of natural sunlight in the interior spaces of the townhouse. And the third is that you don't really have outdoor space, outdoor circulation or green space. But the architects at Dot Do Designs and Construction completely solved this with one genius design. And that is the design of the Zig House, which is located in Vietnam. Now, the reason for the name Zig House comes from their actual genius design solution, which is that they modeled the house in the shape of somewhat a Z. The house actually zigzagged, and you can actually see that in plan. In other words, where typical townhome construction takes up the whole entire plot of land, this house actually carves some away from the actual building and gives some back to the site. Now the problem with doing this is that now you're eating up a lot of this usable livable space of your home and you're replacing it with outdoor walking space and that's really inefficient to do. Except the benefits that are acquired from this move actually enhance the spaces and completely disregard the fact that some of the space has been lost. On the ground level, for example, it's become apparent that now they have two routes of circulation because they've pulled back the building just a little bit. Again, this looks like they've wasted space and they actually have by introducing more circulation but they've also done something really incredible and that is that they've added a natural light well to their property so as you can see here they are able to now add windows to spaces that would otherwise not have any which brings more natural light into the space on the rear side of the house you see how apparent that is they have the windows that wouldn't have been able to exist otherwise and as you can see they now have space for a garden as well so this small move adds more green space and more natural light to the interior spaces. I mean, just look at this interior. Look at the amount of light that's entering the space because they have windows in spaces that would otherwise just be wall. Another way that they address the lack of natural lighting in the townhome typology is by adding a skylight in the center of the home. Atrium allows natural light to now enter the deepest, darkest spots of the home. I mean, look at how exceptional the light quality is at the kitchen. It's truly a way of bringing this kitchen to the exterior, so to speak. I mean, the quality of light just transformed this kitchen and takes it to the exterior without actually putting it in the exterior. Now, the other big problem, as I mentioned previously, is ventilation. Townhomes suffer from ventilation because of their long, slender, and closed-off facades. And the way that they saw this is just genius. First off, look at this image here. You'll notice this facade is perforated. That's actually brick. It's interlocking brick that allows air to enter through and create breezes. But having breezes just enter the building is not enough. You need to create a stack effect. You need Bernoulli's principle. You need areas of low pressure and high pressure. And in order to do this, you need some sort of chimney. And that's exactly what they done. I mean, this detail, it, it excites me so much to show you. When you look at the floor plan, this circle here becomes like a chimney in their project. On the ground level, that circle becomes a shower, and I can't wait to show you this. This shower, which is located on the ground level, which is exceptionally magical and beautiful, is the chimney that allows the breeze is to be collected and taken to the top, which allows a natural flow of air circulation and ventilation. On the upper levels, you'll see that the bathrooms align and this becomes like a chase that air allows to flow through. Look at this detail, more interlocking brick allows more air to be collected and ventilated through here. It just adds to the beauty of the design, but also remains completely functional. This right here is just such an exceptional shot. The concave and the convex of the both bricks working together. It's truly magnificent. I mean, this shot when you're standing in the shower looking up is completely incredible. One of my favorite things about this project is the relationship in terms of material to the spaces of the project. And what I mean by that, whenever you see brick, it talks about ventilation and it doesn't do so metaphorically. It literally means that any time that you see brick, this is part of the system that works with ventilation. It's just really cool. So like right here, you see these screens and you think like, is that just a design aesthetic element? And no, it's actually a functional screen that brings natural ventilation into the space. And then inside of the home, when you see the brick again, that's just part of this machine that allows the collection of natural air to enter the space. It's just beautiful. 
One of my favorite things about this project is that it takes a common problem with the townhome typology and it attempts to solve it in a very unique way and it actually does solve the problem. One of the biggest drawbacks is that because now you have this negative space that's taken up by exterior circulation and natural light wells, you lose some of your interior spaces. But through this clever design, they're able to add so much value to these spaces that you don't mind giving up a little space in return for amazing natural air quality, amazing natural light entering your space and a really unique floor plan that offers a really unique way of traversing through the architecture. I think it's one of the most beautiful projects that I've seen in such a long time. And the way that they handled the problems and found these awesome solutions really make it so inspiring.